This is a simulation. These shots are from a popular YouTube video that shows you how to survive a terror attack. It's how security experts want you to respond. Fast, efficient, safe. But that was certainly not the case recently at Kenya's Strathmore Business School. The security drill came as a surprise and students panicked, some hiding, others jumping from windows. Dozens of students were injured and one woman staff member died. There were mistakes made that led to the debacle of the whole exercise. We are deeply sorry for this and me and my management team take full responsibility. Kenya has suffered terror attacks in the past, so we spoke to security experts about what we can learn from the Strathmore incident. Drill should never be done without pre, it's called pre-drill training. Uh, the whole community is made, the whole community at the university, from teaching staff to non-teaching staff and students and everyone else, is made to go through a security awareness sensitization campaign. Usually it's best done two to three weeks before the drill. Any time longer, people will have forgotten. The training doesn't necessarily have to be intense, but it must be thorough. The management of Strathmore has admitted some of its staff and students weren't properly trained, and in a real terror situation, the aftermath would have been far more deadly. This fight is not ending tomorrow. That means we as Kenyans should up our game on our perception or our transformed security culture. Our culture must change. So a change is key for Kenyans when it comes to security. For the students and staff of Strathmore, the price paid for that change was perhaps too high. Jane Keo, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.